Hello everyone, this is Matt and welcome to the first part of my Embrace playthrough with Genocide Device Echidna. It's been a while since I played Genocide Device Echidna and an even long, longer time since I played one of Treehouse Menace's uh, wads. So yeah, at his request, I'm going to be dropping in on oh, map 1 here, uh, Embrace, which is called Flourishing. Now, this is still Juicy Doom and... This map looks much different with the software renderer, but I couldn't really figure it out a way to approach the visuals. So yeah, we're going to be running with what we got here. I did the Zippo Dynamic Lights, and I'm running. Also, I'm also running the, what's the name of the thing? The Slaughter Map Performance Booster. Just in case I need it, I'm not sure I will, but you know, it's nice to have the option. Anyway, it's been a long time since I played one uh, Tree Houses. Well, uh, wads. The uh, the vast majority of them, I believe, are well outside the realm of well my skill. I'll start them. Well, well outside my skill level. So yeah, I'm running this with GT Echidna just to make sure I'm actually gonna be seeing the end of this playthrough. And even then, I'm not sure. I might still have to quit. I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna try to keep things mostly fair, so no jumping, no crouching. But yeah, just take a good look at this place. I don't really know what it is with Treehouse and making maps that look so alien and so beautiful, but the guy has a gift to tell you. And the funny thing is, in a way, I am, well, I do look, I mean, I do look towards him for inspiration for some of my stuff. But yeah, some of these encounters are quite hyperbolic, but it doesn't really matter. I will be doing I will be attempting my best at a vanilla only run by the time I'm done with this playthrough because I really can't stomach using monster to get through a map I I simply suck too much to actually beat it's just not something I really enjoy doing And this is something I actually brought up with Treehouse when I was looking for, when I said I was looking for stuff to play. And it was like, you should totally play Embrace with an OP mod or something. And I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do that. Because I spent like two hours trying to find something to play and I found nothing. So, yeah. And I find GD Akinna is actually fairly balanced for this kind of map. Like, yeah. You can tell Archvilles to screw up real fast with this, and also you can one shot cyber humans, but you still are quite fragile. Like, no amount of armor can defend against, well, something like a hundred imps getting in your face and slowly clawing you down. So, yeah, I have not been this wad so far. I've gotten relatively close to it. I mean, this map. Map 02, I didn't even see that one. I got to the red door in this one, and then I decided it was just outside of my skill level, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna not going to force myself. I'm not gonna... I don't want to, you know, you know, I just don't want to have that time when I'm playing a game I like, and that's kind of what happened here. It got to a point where I was like, you know what, it's not working keep playing this. I'm not enjoying myself. It's actually really hard, and I'm not enjoying it, so, yeah. But then again, I can not push myself, I will never get better at Doom, and I do still want to get through stuff like Sunder 
in the future. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is the one of the fights, one of the hardest fights I've ever done. Like, without mods. Because... Yeah. Because you get, like, three R12s coming in here. And sure, I'm making this look easy because of the mod that I have loaded, but I did this fight with a super shotgun and the rocket launcher, and it was really hard. And of course, when you do actually... Yeah. And of course, when you do actually get through it, you kind of feel like you accomplished something special. And that's 100% what happened here. It was just like my first time playing through Meat Machine all those years ago. I felt like I broke through my skill ceiling there. That was a really good feeling. And not long after that, I kind of got into Sunder. Uh, I still haven't been in even like the, let's consider it, let's call it the old parts of Sunder. Which I think is like until map 7 or 6, something like that. Yeah, I will say that the hardware renderer, yeah, the hardware renderer here does kill some of the vibe. But at the same time, it's what works really. And I find that Jizim's bullet options just look really bad. So yeah. I did the best I could with what I had, in other words. Okay. And yeah, as I was saying, I think JD can, uh, is actually fairly balanced because there's a lot of OP mods out there that will like completely nullify the threat of even though they like by default they just kind of nullify the threat of the monsters actually killing you. But don't get me wrong, this does sort of happen here too, but I think it's kept more at bay because it, the armor, as far as I know, works just like in Vanilla Doom. The health works the same as in Vanilla Doom. Well, as close as it can, given this is not running on, you know, actual Doom. I think this mod is actually made for us in Dronum. Or something close to that. It's not just Doom because Skagan doesn't really vibe with that anymore. Oh yeah, also, this fight pretty hard regardless if you have mods loaded or not I think it's pretty hard yeah here it's a little bit easier you can just like hold circle straight to win not quite not quite the um, not quite the same case when you do this in vanilla but this is a very well put together fight as you can see you start surrounded by revenants, and then Nartwell drops right behind you, and some Hell Nobles drop me in as well. And as you kill the revenants here in this little, let's call this a gazebo, you kill them in this little gazebo, they start to teleport into it. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool fight. Oh, slightly misaligned texture there. And this is the part where I kind of felt something special about this one because if you play Sunder or if you're just like uh, if you're just like interested in it this whole little hallway here is not really copied but it's certainly inspired by map 31 House of Corrosion which has one of the best names I've seen for a Doom mod. yeah check that out this is where I stopped playing because I knew I was not going to be able to get through this. Not without... I'm not sure. 
Yeah, as you can see, I still haven't used the plasma rifle, so let's go for that. This is where I knew I was not going to be able to play this squad comfortably. It was going to be a learning experience, and I wasn't really feeling like that at the time. So yeah, from now on, it's all blind. Actually, just give me a second. I'm going to turn off the name tags. There's no reason to have them on. But like, man, what a world this is. Oh, okay, the cyber is already there. Oh, actually, I think Ikikinna's armor is a tiny little bit stronger. Yeah, now I have no choice but to use the plasma gun. Yeah, I'm killing them quick, but I'm still taking damage. And sure, there are ways to mitigate damage. But, you know, you're still fragile. If you don't watch yourself, you're gonna die still. So, in a way, I find that uh, GD Echidna is very well balanced, actually. It basically makes the fights take up less time. Which I appreciate. I don't mind... I don't mind slaughter. I actually quite enjoy it, but... There's a lack of skill. But otherwise, yeah, playing slaughter has definitely put me in a position to experience was normally wouldn't even... I would normally wouldn't even think of trying to play. But yeah, because I kind of got into war mood by Ribix. I think I should make a save, if only in interest of uh, not having to start over the map. So yeah, this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? I think there's a switch up there. Ah, yeah. Oh, you. Oh, I see you guys down there. So yeah, as I was saying, Treehouse is really gifted when it comes to just making these worlds. Like, look at this. Midi choice. Like the textures. The architecture itself. This top notch stuff. I really like it. Oh uh, yeah, I have to shoot that, I think. Uh, no. Uh, Yeah, Fennec Rocket. Yeah, by now I think you guys see what I mean by a good enough hero being quite fair, actually. Because a lot of the same motions would be in play if I was if I was playing this in vanilla, no mods. Uh, uh, because yeah, like I said, I do like playing a little bit of slaughter every now and then. Yeah, I'm not even sure if, if Treehouse does only slaughter. To be perfectly honest. 
I know he made, um, what was the name of that one? I think you should marble, and that was pretty funny. But also quite hard. I couldn't finish even that one without significant trouble, and I actually was asked to play test it, and I wasn't quite able to make it in time. But, you know, I tried. Um, that, that's what mattered. Anyway. Uh, Treehouse makes some really good maps. A lot of them are pretty hard and not really in my skill range. Which play comfortably without mods, but yeah. They're really cool. And I really respect what, his, what he sets out to do, because, you know, any map that sees the light of day is, at the end of the day, something that was made, hopefully, with love and care. I know in this case it certainly was, but, you know, there's always some outliers. I really like this corner here uh, at the exit. Yeah, I like the way that the support pillars kind of look like trunks. So, yeah, it looks like there are trees growing right outside the walls okay i think that's enough admiring the map I should probably start playing it because yeah the combat so far is great oh there are <laughs> four arch wells Also, I forgot saying, but Embrace does have one custom enemy. It's the weak cyber, which has been popularized by Magnolia, which is also a very hard one. I uh, decided so I should pick up and play, and I'm still like I don't know, I don't know how to actually play through Magnolia. I give it a try, but it's simply outside my skill level. But it's really pretty, <laughs> and it makes me want to get better so I can actually enjoy it. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. I like how... I really like stuff like this. Uh, yeah, I just... Okay, uh... Target prioritization is still in full play here. Well, I was saying I generally like the texture choices. Uh, okay. And the light sequences too. The light sequences are great. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on in here. Okay, I think the bio is locked in there. So yeah, a lot of the same skill set that you would get from actually playing Slaughter Mass without mods. You gotta get something similar from this one. And on that note, seems like we're already done with map one. I want to tell you the music choices here are also really good. I think you guys are going to enjoy this lot, both for the combat and your spectacle of it, as well as just for... Uh, how can I put this? How well scored it is. But, okay. We have to still get out of this place. I don't know, something about... Um, I don't know, something about this mix of, you know, wood and tack and stone. And these cool rail sprites here. The checkerboard tiles on the ceiling. This map generally just looks kind of neat, really. Even from high up. 
I didn't get the one secret, but that's fine. Surely combat is what matters the most here. Okay, well, time to hop in. So yeah, that was flourishing. Fantastic map, as I expected. <laughs> I knew it was going to kick my ass, but this time, not really, because, you know, the mod is a little bit, it's a little bit, it's going to just kind of, gonna cover that tiny bit of a skill issue I have in order to actually finish this map in vanilla but okay I think that's enough for today so like usual this has a mat thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like maybe comment maybe even subscribe and I'll see you in the next video in which I'm gonna be playing through the illuminate so see you there